Facebook family. How are you doing today? <sighs> what day is it? It is Thursday, um, November 29th. I hope that all of you had a super awesome, wonderful Thanksgiving weekend with your families. I can't even believe that a week has gone by already. Um, time is just flying. But I wanted to come on here because I have not been on here for just a bit. You've seen maybe me post some of my YouTube videos. And actually, this will go on YouTube as well. But I just wanted to pop on here and say hello and talk about some things that I have been doing in this past year. <clears throat> this past year has been uh, very transformative or transforming in my life. And I have been working very, very, very hard on myself. Hey, good morning, Chantel. How are you feeling? I hope you are feeling better. Hi, Jamie. Hey, sister. Um, so in this past year, I've been really, really working hard on not only myself, but some of my goals and my dreams. And you can see in my headline, I posted on there, um, my obsession with witches. And this is probably what has helped me get to where I am today. So, um, oh crap, I just got this wet. Oh well, I can reprint it. So anyways, my obsession with witches, I believe, started when I was a child. Um, I'm going to blame it on... Going to see Snow White in the movie theater when I was a very, very, very young, still living in Oregon, so probably around the age of two or three, maybe four, um, I was terrified of them, but I was very fascinated with them. And so I spent lots and lots of time as a child make-believing and playing that I was um, a witch or pretending to be a witch and like brewing things outside in the mud. Um, one of the things that my dad used to let us do is we lived in the desert, so he would basically just give us the hose, and there was plenty of dirt, and we would just make giant mud puddles, and I sometimes we had clothes on, sometimes we did not, but we were very small children. But I loved to make believe in that stuff, um, because it was fun, and as I grew up, um, I still really liked witches, but my view on them changed. I... And I'm not talking about, like, the evil, believe in Satan, like, that kind of stuff. What I'm talking about is being connected with the earth and using what the earth gives us and provides for us to live a better lifestyle. And that is kind of where that has transformed for me as an adult. So in the last year, I have been really, really working on myself and being more connected um, with the earth and all that she has to offer us. And I started taking this course um, in holistic natural remedies. And um, I really, really enjoyed it. I got my certification in it. Let's see, which one is this? I got my certification in that in September. It was a really awesome, awesome feeling. I felt so good about it. It was exciting. Um, I've learned so much knowledge by taking that course, and and it just has really elevated me. I was wondering when she was going to get in here. Where's the, where's my planet squishy? Is it on the bed? Oh, look at that one. No, my squishy toilet. Oh, it's in the, in your toy basket. So anyways, um... Worked really hard, got my certification in, na in natural holistic remedies, and I'm super proud of myself. And then I had the opportunity to, yeah, I had the opportunity to take an advanced course, and I was so dedicated to that. I buzzed right through that. And as of yesterday, I am now certified in my Natural Holistic Remedies Advanced course. I'm super excited to share that all with you. That was um, a big deal. I don't know. Go look upstairs in your toys. I didn't see my squishy. Go look in your toys. So, anyone that has children or little, little tiny people um, knows what it's like to be interrupted, but that's just part of my everyday life, so there you go. Um, so back to kind of what my headline was about, um, other than me working really hard on myself this year and doing a lot of transformational, formative, formal change, um, do I see ghosts? So I want to tell you that as a very, very small child, and these memories have never, ever, ever left me, 
but as a very, very small child, um, I had a very busy bedroom. And I believe that's what made it very hard for me to take naps because I didn't like to be in there. And this is when we were still um, living in Oregon and my parents were still together at the time. So I'm talking like two and three years old. I have memories of being in my room and just seeing people like at the foot of my bed. Um, to me, they looked like white statues that moved. Um, but they were always in there. And uh, it I resulted in me, like, being squirtle. frozen because I was terrified. It was upstairs. I found my squirtle. Yay! So, Mom, but as... I, I call them squishdelicious. Squishdelicious? I love it. Um, so, growing up with that, I didn't really say very much to many people because you can see how that would make anyone sounds super crazy. Um, so that's not really information that I shared. However, um, there are other people in my family who have probably had the same experience. I'm not going to name names if they feel like they want to discuss that and share their own story. They can do that. I won't do that for them. Um, although I do like to talk, so, you know, sometimes. But, <clears throat> so, as I grew up and and got older, I really tried to tune that out because I didn't understand it. I didn't really want anyone visiting me. Um, name them. <laughs> um, I, well, both sides of our family and my grandmother, my dad's mother was very intuitive and, and would get messages a lot, weird messages. She told me a, a few stories. Um, our other sister, Tiati, has dreams um, that come true. And Tinano, I don't know what you do yet, or if you know what you do yet. Um, but I also read energy. I can walk into a room and probably pinpoint um, the person that's happy, depressed, sad, whatever. Um, but I usually choose not to do that. Now I'm, I'm going to be 40 this year. So before I really go anywhere, I try to ground myself so that I don't have to pick up on other people's energies because sometimes it's debilitating. You know, if you're in a really super happy mood and then you walk into somewhere and there's like that one person whose energy is clinging to you and you're like, oh, it's exhausting. So you learn how to ground yourself so that you don't have to pick up on those energies. Um, and I... I do some clearings. I have, um, in the past few years, gone in and um, done some blessings and cleared some homes for some people, and they've had some really, really great outcomes with that. Um, the one thing that's been kind of difficult is when you do that for somebody, but they don't change their lifestyle, so they actually manifest all that bad shit back. And then you're getting a phone call like a year down the road going, it felt so peaceful and calm and now it's craziness. Can you come back again? Um, yeah, so I choose, I do not communicate with the dead. Um, however, I feel like I probably could because they love to show themselves to me. However, I do ask that they don't because I, I don't communicate with the dead. I don't want to communicate with the dead. They are on the other side. They should be living their life. Um, or I guess not living their life, but living their new, higher plane, whatever they're doing. Um, so I do not like to to connect with them. Um, usually I'm just not ready for that. But I have had many experiences. And if you have someone in your home or there's someone in a building, I'm going to know it. I'm probably going to see them. But I choose uh, not to communicate with them. Maybe somewhere down the road I will but I usually will communicate that I am not in a position to be their instrument and to please leave. Um, I have had friends very close to me that have passed on that have shown themselves or I knew that they were about to show themselves and I out loud said, please, I am not ready for you to walk around the corner. I'll probably pee myself. Um, so they don't. But, so yeah, if you have something in your house, I'm going to know about it. <laughs> um, but I usually try not to. That is something that I like to turn off because I want to stay in my positive, happy, white bubble. Um, so, I got my certification 
in my natural holistic remedies. I got my advanced certification as of yesterday. It's just, you know, and it's not really for anything other than what I am doing with my life, the business that I am forming. It's nice to have this knowledgeable background that I can share with people, and that's really what it's all about. You will see that I regularly post um, natural remedies for all kinds of stuff, and I do that freely and willingly because I believe that everyone should share those things with each other. It's not so that I can make money off of you, although I do have my own store, and if you want to purchase something from me, that's amazing. But um, all the other stuff, I freely do that because I believe that everyone should know these things. These are things that our ancestors knew about, that they practiced regularly. They made their own concoctions they took from the earth to heal themselves because your bodies have the ability to heal themselves given the right ingredients. And the earth provides all of those ingredients, and I just love to share those with everyone. So you will continue to get that from me. I will always share things like that, uh, holistic natural remedies. Although I will say I'm going to start when I do my posts, I will write in there that it is not to take place of anything that your doctor or healthcare provider has um, either subscribed to you, prescribed to you, or any of the information that they have given to you. I am definitely not posting those things so that you can do that in place of. This is something that will help boost what you're already going through, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so what am I going to do next? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue doing my education. I am. Um, I've already got my certificate, my two certifications in this, and I'm going to go next into um, my certification in holistic essential oils and how to really specialize more in that. And I'm also going to be a, doing a certification on um, like beauty and home care remedies that you can use every single day to help detox your home a natural way without having to be a consumer um, and go to the store and purchase things, you know. Like I said before, the planet really does offer you every single thing that you need to get by, and I'm, I'm going to continue down that road. And there have been many nights where I've had to be with my little girl who was sick or something, and I've done my schoolwork in the dark. Um, I really do it whenever I get a free moment. Sometimes it's five minutes, but uh, I stuck it out. I'm proud of myself. I got it done. And I'm just going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. <sighs> I've probably talked all of your ears off plenty of times. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Hi, Andrea. I love um, watching all of your posts that you do from around the world. It's so much fun. And I just want to wish all of you a super amazing day. You really can make your life whatever you want it to be. It is up to you. I love to remind people and tell people to make today the best day ever by living in the moment. Sometimes it's super easy to get caught up in all the everyday shit, whether it's running late, getting your kids off to school, or things just don't seem to be working out as planned. You know, you can make plans, but you can't plan the results. You just really got to go with the flow and try. I don't even like the word try, but, um, just do your best, you know, always do your best, stay positive, stay focused, and even in those tough times when it feels like you can't, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, it's only temporary, everything is temporary, and this one's calling me, so I'm guessing that means it's time for me to go, but make today the best day ever by living in the moment, and make tomorrow even greater by setting your intentions for great things to happen, and you know, you'll never fail. You will never, ever fail. Keep your eye on the prize. If, it, if there's something that you want to do, go do it. I'm going to be 40 years old this year. And I am finally living out my dream. So it's never too late. You can start over whenever you want to. Life just is what it is. You know, make it happen for yourself. Don't rely on someone else. Just pick up your feet and do it on your own. And you can. And once you start doing it, you'll find the support comes to you. When you're doing the things that you're supposed to be doing, everything else will fall right into place and it'll happen for you. So you guys have a super awesome day and I will talk to you later.